What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. When you make the switch from iPhone to Android, the first thing you want to do is transfer all your data, like your photos, videos, music, apps, messages, WhatsApp, etc. So in today's video, I'll show you guys two free ways to transfer your data from iOS to Android. Let's jump into method 1 transfer data by smart switch on Android. You need to make sure both phones are in a good network environment and have enough power. Then we need an iCloud account. If you don't want to use it, try next method. Now open settings on your iPhone and go to your profile. Tap iCloud. Here just turn on the data that you want to transfer. Or cancel some data you don't need to transfer. Also, return to the previous page and make sure that you have turned off Find My iPhone. Now you can go back into the iCloud backup and then start the backup. Once done, take your Android device and go to settings. Scroll down to accounts and backup. It might be in a different menu depending on what model of Android device you have. Tap on bring data from old device and hit receive data option. Here you can also do this transfer from Windows or Android phones. This time we choose iPhone, then select get data from iCloud instead and fill in your Apple account. Next, you will get a prompt on your iPhone to allow the Android device to connect to your iCloud account. Just tap allow and then enter your verification code on your Android device. Here, you can choose what you want to transfer. Don't forget to tap the arrow and then select all. Otherwise, it will only copy the last 30 days of photos. Do this for all your data and then tap transfer. That's it. If you have a lot of data, this process may take a long time. Please be patient. Method 2. Transfer data from iPhone to Android from Google Drive. In this method, just install Google Drive in your iPhone. Then sign in your Google account. Go to Photos and select a photo or video. Click the Share button in the lower left corner and select Google Drive. Upload the selected files. Now pick your Android and open Google Drive. Here you'll get the files just downloaded on your iPhone. Method 3. WhatsApp Transfer Alternative I believe many people, like me, store a lot of data in WhatsApp. Unfortunately, neither of the previous two methods can transfer my WhatsApp data. Don't worry, there is also a third-party tool called iCareFone Transfer that can help you solve this problem. All you need to do is to connect both your phones to your computer. Then launch iCare Phone Transfer and choose WhatsApp. By following the instructions on the software, go through the following four steps. You can transfer the WhatsApp message without any problems. I strongly recommend you to try it. So that's all for today. If it helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I would be very grateful if you subscribe. And stay tuned for our next video.